It is the 22nd of the 6th, 2012. And this is today's climate change update. I'm going to start tonight off on a link that was brought to my attention a, a week or so ago. I'm sorry I've gotten taken so long to get to this, but it's basically a wind map. Uh, it's a live diagram and it actually shows that the direction and the current of the wind through the continental United States. I do believe this website was set up for like uh, wind power gen um, generation farmers to watch and stuff. But I think this is a tool we could use uh, here on the Truther Movement. So I'll provide a link for that, of course. Let's get started. Scott, or, uh, Sod.net USGS Earthquake Magnitude 6.0 uh, in the Macquarie Island region. Now that's an island region in between um, Antarctica and Australia. So uh, definitely deep down in the southern hemisphere. They've got a story going on. Fukushima workers, soon nobody can get close to the Arriva's facility. Now you got to remember the Arriva's facility is this French uh, company that they said they can uh, de-radioactive the water, uncontaminate the, the water, and they were just getting the strontium out of this stuff. Um, this thing never really has worked um, since they put it into operation, and now it's become so radioactive uh, that they can't really get near it. So, uh, epic fail on the water treatment in the Fukushima Daiichi uh, nuclear power plant. Another massive sinkhole swallows yet another Florida home. Uh, I know uh, Florida does get a lot of sinkholes historically. I grew up in Orlando as a kid. It uh, wasn't unheard of to hear about sinkholes going on and uh, filling up with water and I've been swimming in them. Over to the, US, uh, the RSOE. Uh, of course we have the big fires going on in Colorado and New Mexico ongoing situation and I'll refer you back to that wind map you can kind of see how the winds are going and uh, the troubles that these firefighters are having containing these fires got another big for forest fire in Utah Saratoga Springs area um, going on um, where was that we had a fire at the nine mile point nuclear power plant in the state of New York uh, they had a generator go up uh, the fire lasted more than 15 minutes, so they had to declare an unusual event. Uh, no radiation was uh, released, that kind of thing. It was just a, a generator fire. Um, these old equipment break down from time to time. Flash flooding in Australia, pretty severe. Uh, one of the rescue trucks got um, inundated and they had to go rescue the rescue workers. Uh, apparently one of the floodgates didn't close in time and uh, they, they were having to evacuate entire neighborhoods and that kind of thing in the state of Victoria in the Gippsland region. Uh, looks like Kui Rup. And that's about all new they've got going on. Of course the forest fires continue in the state of North Carolina. Let's go ahead and start on the nuclear stuff. The Daily News Fukushima uh, Diary Metropolitan Police Department seeking the organizer of the 45,000 demonstration uh, outside the Prime Minister's residence, um, they are protesting the start of the Ojai nuclear power plant. Um, apparently, tweet got out of hand and 45,000 joined demonstration against the restart of Ojai nuclear power plants. Uh, the Japanese are very out of character and up in, uh, in arms anyway. Uh, radiation level in sub-drain of Reactor 2 increased 10 times after Typhoon. Uh, they've got charts to show that. Uh, TEPCO decided to evacuate F1 to hear the sound of China Syndrome on the, the, the 20th in 2011. Um, the secretary of the ex-Japanese prime minister reports um, they heard underground noises and that was the actual um, reactors breaking through containment and entering into the ground. So um, again, we have three. Uh, nuclear reactors minimum um, China syndrome for sure radiation level spiked at reactor number three uh, TEPCO is claiming the gauge is broken so take it for what it's worth uh, here's a story what happened to reactor number four they're asking them questions you can physically see changes in the building uh, in the photographs from this story uh, we have another youtuber in the community based out of Germany uh, who has been doing time-lapse of the work being done uh, at the number four nuclear reactor. So this is um, 
TEPCO in preparation to pull those fuel rods early. Remember, they're, they're trying to get them this year, not next year. They're rushing to get these uh, fuel rods out of that spent fuel pool. And um, so you can kind of see, I'll attach a video to the link where you can actually watch them doing the, the work. They're tearing down the top of the building in preparation uh, to remove these fuel rods. U.S. Army was planning to drop coolant into Fukushima plants by airplane during the disaster. Again, they had a clearance through an air, airway, and uh, when the helicopters were up trying to dump, dump uh, water on top of this, and they were dumping seawater into the thing, uh, we all remember those of us who actually watched. Reactor 4 had one explosion and two fires in March 2011. This just goes on with what was going on yesterday. The damage it took from uh, the, the major explosion from number three the day before and the buckling of the building and uh, the, the, what people are reporting it was already the fuel has caught on fire on that thing. Work starts to restart o, uh, OI nuclear uh, number four reactor. This is off the Japanese Atomic Industrial Forum. The operator of the OI nuclear plant in Fuku Prefecture has begun work to restart number four reactor following similar operations at the number three reactor last Saturday. Uh, let's go ahead and just get to the meat of it. Uh, the reactor number three reactors is scheduled to restart on July 1st and the number four reactor on the 17th of July 2012. Full operation is expected to start at number three reactor on July 8th and the number four to follow suit on the 24th. Um, so they are definitely planning and they are getting these reactors geared up and ready to go. Finally tonight, let's go ahead and go to e, &E News. Um, NHK special radiation danger haunts Fukushima town. Nurses, quote, if I stay here, I don't know if I'll be able to have children and raise them safely, unquote. We don't know what's going, we don't know what's going to happen. We live in a constant state of anxiety. And again, they're not testing these people for radiation. Uh, the corruption and the calamity continues. The battle has only just begun. APF, tens of thousands of protests at Prime Minister's residence, 100,000 expected next Friday for the Hydrangea Revolution. Bloomberg, TEPCO cover no, over number one reactor designed to withstand only 56 mile per hour winds. And you got to remember, this is the TARP. They threw over the top of number one, which roof blew all to heck. Uh, so prying eyes can't see so well uh, on that well-placed TEPCO camera. That was one of the first things they do. We can cover this one up. Go ahead and do it. And we all watch it waver in the wind. It's just a tarp. Uh, Japan government expert. Water could get sucked out of Fukushima spent fuel pools by tornado and expose nuclear fuel rods. They're expecting tornadoes over the nuclear fuel rods. China syndrome question mark. Former Japan official underground rumblings heard in Fukushima plant area night of March 14th, 2011, caused by melted fuel underground. And they have a video attached to that. So the whistleblowers are coming out, and again, they can't stop with the, what is the truth from leaking out of Fukushima. Um, enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.